Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today you will carry out static analysis of a shekel. You will learn how you can apply a load in a specific directions. And we also you will learn how to evaluate factor of safety, stresses as well as deformations. So let's start our simulation study of SOLIDWORKS now. Okay, first of all, download this 3D model of shackle from our video description link and open it in SOLIDWORKS. After that, before starting the non-linear static analysis of this shackle, we will define simple linear static analysis first in order to compare the results of stresses and formations between these both linear as well as non-linear simulations. So first of all add in SOLIDWORKS simulation premium and wait until the simulation tab appears here. Hello friends, if you are new to my channel you can subscribe and share my videos and if you have any queries you can ask me in comment section. Okay, you can see that simulation type has been appeared. So click on the simulation, then start a new simulation study. This is simple static. You can define a specific name, for example, static analysis of shackle. Okay. After that, we will assign material to this shekel that is AISI1035 stainless steel apply close and the, this shekel is fixed at this both cylindrical supports so go to fixtures and select fixed geometry then select this face as well as this phase. After that, we will apply a load in y directions on this phase. So just right click on the force, wait until the load curve. Okay, here is the force. Select this phase, then select direction, selected direction. Check this option instead of normal. Check this one and from the selected directions you have to choose a face as our plane for directions. So okay, we will select this top plane and select this option. You can see the direction of the load is in y direction upward. We will reverse the directions and load is about 19,000 Newton and the last step before running the simulation is the creation of curvature based mesh so go to create mesh and from the mesh parameters select curvature based mesh leave the other parameters default ok wait until mesh is being generated. You can see here. So mesh has been a curvature based mesh has been generated now. Now it's time to run the this static analysis of a shaker. So our solution has been completed now. You can evaluate stresses as well as deformations on this 3D model. Right click on the stress, go to edit definitions and select the units megapascal. Then change units to floating. Ok. You can see the maximum stress occurs in this part is 585.6 megapascal 
that is more than that of the yield strength of the material. What does this mean? This means that factor of safety for this shaker design is less than 1. We can also check the factor of safety, define factor of safety plot and select the failure theory that is maximum 1 measure stress theory. Okay, you can see that the factor of safety is 0.48 that is less than 1. That means that shackle is going to fail in failure mode at the load of this 19,000 Newton. Similarly, you can check the displacement or deformations in the y directions. So, in order to check the deformation in y directions, right click, edit definitions, and select the u, y, and y displacement. You can see that the maximum information is 0.215. Negative value show that this is in is in negative y directions. We can also animate this deformation in order to check the results.